Welcome back to the channel, hope everybody is doing well and in today's little video we're going to have a comparison of these two Tesla sets in front of me here. Purchased both of these from Amazon a little while back. This set here is a 12 piece set manufactured by Proster and currently retails for £30.99 and the set here on the right is from Cleek. It is a 25 piece set and currently retails for £26.99. There are an abundance of these test sets in all kinds of different configurations from Amazon. That tends to be the easiest place and most reliable place for me to purchase from. Sometimes you get sellers on eBay that are UK based that you can get them from. Other than that, you're off to websites such as AliExpress or Banggood. And again, you can get an abundance of these kind of kits from there as well. The obvious first difference between these two sets is the cardboard box that the Prosta set comes in and the plastic case for the clique set. Depends on what your intended use is for these sets. If you're just purchasing as a replacement set for an existing instrument that has its own case, then it doesn't really matter how they're packaged. But if you want an extra set of leads that you're going to use across multiple instruments perhaps, then the plastic case obviously gives you a few more advantages over the cardboard box there. So the leads themselves, the set from Clique, are actually advertised as being silicon insulated. Uh, they come here with the right angled connector at one end and a straight connector at the opposite end. And for the set from Proster, they are straight jacks at both ends. However, it's not stated whether these are silicon insulated or PVC insulated. In terms of the feel between the two, softness and the flexibility, they are pretty much the same. Not much difference between the two sets. Similar sort of diameter um, and a very similar sort of length as well. I'll stick the uh, two jacks here at the end and go along the leads and then you can see here that's the difference between the two, a circa about one meter length. So what I'll do at the end of the video is flash these across a 1000 volt insulation tester and that will show me if any of them are PVC or whether they're both silicon sets. So we'll put the leads out the way momentarily, just put those out the way and we'll move on to the probes. So in terms of the probes that come with the kits, they are of similar construction. Uh, both of the probes are standard 4mm sockets on the end and at the other end they are threaded to accept a number of different tips or adapters in the case of the clique. Um, for the set from Proster, they all come in this little uh, polythene bag here, plastic bag here, uh, with a zip locked at the top there. For the clique set, you get this extra little plastic case that sits inside a larger case and that contains all the adapters along with a few extra bits and pieces. Um, so for Proster, you get four gold plated tips that are all the same length and you get four standard tin plated tips that again, they look to be all the same length and they're the, uh, that standard kind of probe tip that you get on test leads. For the set from Cleek, you get slightly different ones. You get this set of gold plated which are similar length to the Proster ones. And then you get this extended length here. Uh, that is considerably longer, almost twice actually. Yeah, almost twice the length of the other probe tips. Um, in terms of the standard plated tips, you get standard set here that are the same as the ones from uh, Proster. There we go, yeah, pretty similar. And then you get this set here. I'll see if I can get a picture of these. These have like the concave tip to them so that you can put them over a pin and they'll sit on a on top of a pin. And also you get a set of banana adapters for standard four millimeter banana adapters to go in the probes for the set from Cleek, as you can see there. And with the set from Cleek, you get a little spanner here that you can use to tighten all the accessories up into the probe tips. You don't get that with the Proster set. They are just standard screwed in finger tight. Both sets of leads have little GS38 shrouds for each of them that are for use with the standard length probe tips. If you 
try and use them with the gold plated tips they don't really provide you the correct GS38 protection. So in this little box as well for the set from clique you get these small crocodile clips here you also get the small crocodile clips in the set from Prostra as well exactly the same um, you get a set of spade connectors for use with the set from clique you don't get spade connectors with the set from Prostra and, and these spade connectors as well they are standard four millimeter accessories same as the crop clips so they will plug directly into the leads um, and that's the probe tips so we can chuck them all out of the way so in the video that I did on the HT8051 I mistook these sets of probe tips here for just normal standard grippers the viewer of that video corrected me pointed out to me that these are actually insulation piercing probe tips and if you if you just move them on the top spring there it wasn't so obvious to me uh, you can actually pull back this second one here and it reveals a little probe tip I'll see if I can do it on video or take a close-up of it as well but yeah they are right it's my bad that is a, an insulation piercing probe tip there it's not something that I use an awful lot of um, but they are in the kit the clique set also has a set of insulation piercing probe tips as well they are a little bit more basic design um, it's just standard needle probe tip there uh, that isn't replaceable as far as I can tell and you have a manually sliding cover to go over the top of that uh, and it will be a uh, it's not spring loaded at all you have to manually push that in and pierce through having said that the piercing tip is longer on this than on the other set from Prosta uh, which may be of benefit to you but undoubtedly the set from Prosta are a much better quality uh, so that's those there uh, moving on we have uh, standard sets of grippers now so these are the uh, wire grippers that come with the set from Prosta again fairly good quality with these standard four millimeter jack inside to go directly onto the leads uh, the set from clique they have two different sets of grippers uh, this set here are their own on their own wire if you like with the little uh, miniature clip at the end here and then a standard four millimeter uninsulated banana jack at the other end so they have those those are Similarly, yeah, about a meterish length, probably as well. Let's, uh, just quickly. Oh yeah, so there you go. Yeah, so they're about a meter long as well. Um, so that comes with the clique sets. Just now I've made the right mess. And then the second set of grippers are an absolute miniature set that come in this little Ziploc bag. And oh, these are more what I tend to use with uh, oscilloscope probes, to be honest with you. Uh, much shorter leads on these, uh, much, much more finer, uh, totally intent on using for electronic works, I would have thought. The little uh, connector end here plugs in to the actual clip, so you can get it on there, and then at this end. This looks to be a probe tip accessory, so you would need the probes, not those ones. Must be the standard one here. And then you would plug that onto that there, and that's the setup you've got for that. Obviously, a little bit of uh, an insulated gap between the two there. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit ropey. And I'm not sure. Uh, I guess you should be okay because there should be in any weight you can leave this line on the deck can't you and then move that to an IC or something like that or component that you're trying to measure uh, and there shouldn't be any weight on that at all there but nonetheless they do come with a kit which could be of use if you're doing more electronics work rather than electrical work and went through those two so the final element 
is just the larger crop clips that come with the set from Proster. Again, standard 4mm accessory that will plug straight onto the cable. And that's where you have it, I guess. So grab hold of the insulation tester and see what kind of insulation resistance value we get. So we'll take a look at the insulation resistance on the leads themselves. We'll start off with the set from Prosto. You can see they are straight jacks at both the end here. They are set to 1000 volts on our insulation tester. And we will uh, lock them in. And we can put the light on as well. And we can see we're 200 gig ohms, greater than 200 gig ohms, with the leads just lying there. We can grab hold of them. And we, ooh, doubt these are silicon then. We're down to 6.9, 4.55, and I'm not really, I'm just handling them there. If I squeeze them down to 3.1, down to 3 gigs, yeah. Yeah, much more likely for these to be PVC. Very rarely get silicon acting like that. There you see, yeah, we should go up to 200 gigs. Okay, there you go then, yeah. Yeah, not the best quality leads. Uh, let's take them off and then we'll uh, plug in our set from uh, Clique as well. Now these are advertised as silicon. So they're just coiled up, sitting on their own. They are the same again, they are over 200 giga ohms. And then when I take hold of them, down to 90. Oh, these might be silicon then. Sometimes you do get the dip, and then they jump back up again. So these are, yeah, I would say these are probably, yeah. Definitely silicon. You can see the difference quite easy. I'm now pressing quite hard on these, but you can see there's no change. Sometimes when you test silicon leads, you do get this initial dip and it drops, um, but then it picks straight back up again. So yeah, definitely silicon leads, those ones. Uh, the ones from Proster, without a shadow of a doubt, they are PVC insulated, although they do feel quite soft and flexible. So they're not too bad in that respect, but insulation wise, they aren't the best. Okay, so there you have it. That's the two sets of leads, one from Proster here on the left and the other one from Cleek. I would say that the set from Proster here is aimed more towards electrical work, given the types of accessories that it does come with. Having said that, you've seen the leads are undoubtedly PVC and the insulation quality of them is just not as good as the silicon insulated set from Cleek over here. Uh, with Cleek, the accessories I think are aimed more towards electronics work and obviously the storage case that you get with the clique system is much better than the set from Proster. I think Proster do do a set similar to this that comes in a roll-up wallet. Um, so you could look at that as an alternative if you preferred. But other than that, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. And I will see you again in the next one.